Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm here in the plant room and it's time for updates to the tropical trees. I haven't done a lot of videos in the plant room over the winter because I can't fit in the plant room. I'll show you how much space I have. If I go down here, you can see I have an aisleway that's just big enough for me to walk down here. And on the floor, it's full of trees. All the benches are full. All the benches <laughs> have trees on them. So I am full in here. I can barely fit myself in here. I do have a yellow hibiscus flower out today, which is the first one on this yellow hibiscus since I cut it back. So I, I really did a lot of chopping on the trunk, reducing the tree down to quite a small size. I'll have to do further chopping. I, I'm not happy with my apex yet, but uh, nice to see flowers. And there's one, two, three, four, four more flower buds coming. So I'll probably pinch those off because I don't want all the energy going into flowers, even though they're, they're so beautiful, but yeah, so I might pinch the other buds off. I, I just can't have it flowering. This plant just flowers all summer. It's amazing. I, I really like it. I have other yellow hibiscus, the ones I've grown from seed. There's one here and then back in there, there's three plants growing. So they haven't flowered yet. So I'm hoping maybe it's too young. You know, this will be their second year of growing, but maybe they'll flower this time, this coming summer. That would be really interesting. My bougainvillea here, the flowers are just about done on it. It's been flowering the entire winter. It's just been amazing. I'll be working on the plant room over the summer, getting it all finished, and hopefully I can make some shelves and make a little more room in here so I can video in here over the winter. That'd be nice. It's time for more updates now. So here's my lemon tree. I repotted it into this flat oval shaped pot, a larger one, to allow it to grow and get those roots growing better. And you can see up top, it's got all kinds of new growth coming out on it. So that's looking good. I brought my sarissa up, I think it was towards the end of January, into the plant room here to warm it up. And it started growing really, really well. You can see all the new growth on it, looking really healthy. I'm getting suckers coming up from the base of the tree. Yeah, it's doing really well. So that will need a trim coming up. It's starting to grow. Some of these shoots are really, really getting tall. Behind that, my ficus root over temple. You can see the canopy down there. Yeah, it's looking good. Recovered nicely. Getting nice and compact, the canopy on it. So that's good to see. I'm glad it's pulled through after that hard pruning. My Brazilian rain tree over here, it was sitting there kind of dormant for the longest time. The buds were swelling. I was expecting it to burst into growth soon. And now it has. You can see it down here. The shoots are really, really long. So it's pretty well doubled the size of the canopy. You can see a shoot going right over by the window and over here. So it's really spreading out. So I'm going to let, let it grow and then I'm going to put it outside in the summer. I keep letting it grow just to thicken up the trunk and the branches and then it'll get hard pruned back in fall and hopefully you know get a lot of back budding and make it compact once again and just keep repeating that process you know letting it grow out pruning it back grow it out again prune it back and slowly we'll build up some nice branch structure a nice thick trunk and should be a good looking tree in the future i think my money tree over here, its uh, you can see the new shoots coming out in between the bougainvillea flowers there. It's doing really well. It's recovered after the last cutting back of the uh, branches on it. So doing well. My tropical style ficus down here, getting a really nice canopy on it, a nice shaped canopy. I can't really get in there too well, but 
it's looking really good. Getting a nice shape to it. The jade down there, the uh, Baobab style jade, it's recovered really well from its last pruning. So that's looking good. The little ginkgo down there is growing quite well. Doing well. My rat tail jades, the ones that Bonsai J gave me, they're going bananas. <laughs> See them down here? Right down there. They're just, yeah, they've really multiplied. I'm hoping they get little trunks on them. I'd like to de develop it into some kind of a tree or something. That'd be cool. My two little leaf ficus, the one I did the severe root work on, it's doing well too. You can see all the little leaves coming out on it. Yeah, it's really, really doing well. The bougainvillea, my pink pixie bougainvillea, I repotted it, kind of changed the front a bit and did some severe pruning. It's really coming in well. Uh, I'll try and get down here low. This is the back of it, but uh, yeah, it's really filled out, doing well, nice and healthy. My Christmas cactus here, the one I put in the fancy pot, it's got, it's starting to get its secondary branches. So I cut it back and it, it sprouted out new branches or new leaves. And then they're dividing and getting more leaves. So it's starting to build the canopy back up. So that's really exciting. Such a cool looking plant now. And I love that pot it's in. My Natal ficus here, the small one that's in the Taiwanese pot, it's getting aerial roots on it like crazy down there. They're sticking out all over the trunk. Uh, just amazing. My Snow Queen hibiscus here, the one Connor gave me the cutting of, it's doing really well. I gave it a good structural pruning, reducing the height down a lot, and it's coming back really well. It's looking good. That's going to just be amazing over the summer, I think. My ficus microcarpa, the one I call fancy, because it's got all the fancy shoots on the base and aerial roots. Uh, it's starting to fill out again, and I'm just going to let that grow. I want to thicken up those upright trunks and start getting them to fuse together. I can kind of, this is the back of it, but I hope I can get in to show you what I mean, there's all the multiple trunks on it. I'm hoping they thicken up and start fusing together at the base and be pretty cool. This is just one tree. There's no, no cuttings or anything added. It's just one tree and this is how it's growing. My ficus lyrata here, doing amazing. All kinds of new leaves on it. And they're not small. It hasn't disappointed me. Look at the size of the leaves on it. They're bigger than my hand. Yeah, terrible tree for bonsai, but I'm growing one anyway, hoping to get fin bust buttress roots on it. My big ficus microcarpa, the one I grew from seed, that one, uh, it's getting quite large. So once the nice weather comes, I'll bring it outside. I'm going to defoliate it and then prune it for structure. It needs a lot of... Uh, sorting out. I want to start building up branch layers, kind of getting some flatter pads and, you know, instead of just being one big round foliage mass, starting to get some branch layers and that on it. I think it's maturing enough that I can do that. Yeah. My uh, Madagascar jasmine down here, it was a big vine and it was curled around something really long. I cut it back and planted it in bonsai soil and just left it in the pot and nothing happened. And I thought, oh, it's dead for sure. I'll have to put it on the, the dead pile. But I noticed just the other few days ago, there's a green bud coming out on it now. And the rest are cuttings and they don't look like they survived. They look like they dried up. But the main tree looks like it's going to grow once again. So that's exciting. My little coffee trees here, they're doing well still. 
They're doing better than I expected them to do. They're growing in nice dark green leaves. Really nice. My uh, saber leaf fig, I severely pruned that back. And you can see all the new growth coming in on it now. So that's good. My crown of thorns down here, right here, it's uh, coming into leaf really nicely after I pruned it back this year. So that's good. All the portulacaria cuttings that were sent to me are doing really well. We've got the Frank Yee cork bark portulacaria aphras back there. We've got the variegated ones, the small leaf ones. So you can see them in here. <laughs> this is like a jungle in here. My jade that I repotted, the one that was in flower, the flowers are pretty well falling off. You can see them up top. It's doing really well, getting all kinds of new growth on it, recovered from that repotting. This bougainvillea, doing well, looking good. Uh, my lemon cypress from Bonsai J in there is doing well. I've got some, I think they're kumquat cuttings, or not cutting seedlings in there. They're doing well. Um, I think the one is from Blue Jay Bonsai. The one is from David from the Toronto Club. Maybe a couple are from David. And they're from Japan. They're, they're a cool tree. Down here is my Ming Aurelia. The one I got from Derek. It's growing really well, doing super. So that's nice to see. My ficus rumphii is doing well down there. Over here, my Delonyx regia from Jarhead Bonsai. So I did a severe root pruning. It lost its leaves in the winter, and now they're starting to grow in again. So that's really exciting. I'm glad of that. Um, what else we got here? Uh, there's a ficus religiosa cutting here that's doing really well. My baobabs are still dormant. There's one back in there, and then the other ones I have up top here, at the back here. I'm just keeping them dry up there. No signs of leaves on them, but they look good. The trunks look, you know, still plump and healthy looking, so they're doing well. My Portula Carry Afra Forest down here, the ones that are styled to look like baobabs, they're doing quite well this winter. Can't wait to get them out in some real sun and get them growing really nicely. My <clears throat> large leaf Schifflera here, the one I did all the aerial root work, still looking good. All kinds of leaves came out on it. Uh, I defoliated it when I did all this work and it's got all these leaves on it now. So it's looking really good. Back in there is my hibiscus bonsai. You can't see it because it's a jungle, but it's looking good. My yucca forest back here, that's ready to get the big pruning. I'm going to wait till the weather's warm and hot, and then I'm going to prune them back. This is the year for that. My ficus microcarpa, the one I call plain here, is doing well. The canopy's growing back in. My guava tree here, looking really good. Really strong growth on it this winter. The trunk is thickening up getting that nice flaky bark on it. My Natal plums back there, they're doing well. My Ficus bengalentus down there, looking good. My Tiger Bark Ficus down here are looking good. My Kapok trees here, doing well. The main tree and the cutting down there are looking good. Uh, my Silk Floss tree, here doing really awesome got the big spikes on the on the trunk doing well there's my dragon tree seeds in here this is my new ficus from the ficus workshop i'll be working on that tomorrow for ficus friday so that's exciting my uh desert rose forest down here not much has changed on that I don't know if I'm watering it too much or too little. I probably need more water on it. But yeah, they're doing well. These are the trees that'll be 
shaped to look like dragon trees. These uh, jade bonsais, or bonsai jades. So they're doing really well. So I've got a lot of those, the ones I cut back in an earlier video. And these are new ones I got from Tropical Expressions. They were giving them out free that day, so that's pretty cool. Uh, back in here, I've got my bullhorn acacia doing really well. My monkey ear trees are growing like crazy, just shooting up. I did this, this one that shot up here. Uh, it that part took over, and I had another branch on it, and that branch died off. All the energy just went into growing vertical. So I'll have to prune that back uh, when I can get to it when it's outdoors in, in spring and then start shaping them more. Uh, my lychee tree down there from Zinn did a lot of root work. Well, I didn't do a lot of root work. I just basically cut them all off. And it's still green and doing well. So I, th I think that's made it. I think it'll do well this summer. There's my Natal ficus. Uh, that's the one that's going into the pot at Isabella's, the one, the large pot I made. Behind that is a Ficus religiosa. It's doing well. Uh, and then the hibiscus from seeds are way back in there. My rubber trees, I've got the clump style and the forest way back there, doing well. There's a, my dragon-shaped Schaeflera back there doing well. These are my acacias from seeds. They're doing well. Uh, my willow leaf ficus here, doing well. It needs more sun. The mystery tree from Todd's, trop uh, from Todd's Tropicals beside it is doing really well. What else? Um, down here we have the Jerusalem thorns. They need sunshine, I think. I don't know what they need, warmth and sunshine. The, the trunks are still green on them, so I'm Hoping once the weather gets better, they can start exploding in new growth. And I've got my wild almonds down there. They're doing all right. I think they're doing quite well. They're alive still. I've got my aloe, bonsai aloe down here. I cut it back at the top and you can see the new growth coming in now. Hopefully that encourages more pups down below. Uh, we'll see. My fike is cutting of a cutting here, shooting out all kinds of new growth. It's looking good. What else do we have? There's more of these cuttings from the uh, Snow Queen hibiscus. They're doing well. Oh, my uh, ficus microcarpa in the Vietnam style pot, the one I put all the sphagnum moss here to encourage rooting. It's really growing in. I'll have to get to this soon do some trimming before all these large shoots start shading out the smaller ones. I just want to equalize the uh, balance of the growth, take off some of the vigorous shoots and get it back under control. My rubber trees, I remember I planted some really small ones. They're down there and the cutting did grow. It's got leaves on it now. So I, I'm trying to see how miniaturized or how miniature I can keep these uh, little rubber trees if I can keep the leaves small on them by leaf pruning and yeah in a small pot like that so that'll be interesting um I've got another ficus microcarpa cutting here quite a large one that I'm growing that's doing okay my Norfolk Island pine forest is doing fine back there my little pencil cactus here. I think that's going to go in one of Isabella's pots. I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. Yeah, little tiny pencil cactus looking really good. My, my bald cypress down here is starting to sprout new growth on it. So that's exciting. And my Fukian tea here. You can see all the new growth on it. Starting to green up. And there's the cutting from kale down there the parrot's beak still green hopefully that'll take off soon I've got another acacia down here it's doing really well you can see the leaves on it 
looking really good. And this is my tiger bark ficus. Uh, I did a, quite a severe pruning to it. And it's growing in really nicely. Got all kinds of new shoots up top, so that's good. My ficus religiosa here. Hasn't done a lot of growing over the winter. It's got all these buds all over it. I think it's just waiting for warmth and sunlight and it'll take off the spring. It's got a bit of new growth, but not a whole lot. That was a look at all the tropical plants I have here in the plant room. I think 99% of them are doing really well. I'm looking forward to getting them out in spring though. They do so much better when they're outdoors in the full sun. And I think the new greenhouse is really going to accelerate the growth of some of these plants. So it should be a, a fun summer. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.